guys, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, hello, my name is Twee. So I literally just come out of the shower and you guys can see my hair is up in a turban. My towel is literally so wet because I literally just washed my hair this morning. I done that specifically because I wanted to test out the Dyson Airwrap. I finally got my hands on this big boy. I remember when I first saw this on Instagram, I was like, wow, what is that technology? It looks like it just sucks the hair and wraps it around and then it has a beautiful curl that releases from it. So the Dyson Airwrap really intrigued me because it styles your hair and it also dries at the same time so instead of blow drying your hair and then going in with a hair curler which is probably twice as damaging on your hair and it takes up a lot more time this does everything in one i was so kindly gifted the dyson air wrap for christmas from my friend gary the plastic boy if you guys haven't checked him out please check him out he is so so amazing so lovely he does youtube and instagram as well so i wanted to try this for the first time on camera and we're going to test out how easy it is because when you watch the commercials about this it looks so easy like they just hold it up and it just whips the hair you just release it and it's like a big curl i feel like i'm such a novice when it comes to hair and i feel like a lot of you guys say that you're rubbish at hair as well so we're gonna be testing this together guys and i'm gonna tell you if it's worth it i actually got the smooth and control kit it does come in three different kits there's also a volume kit which is more for people with limp straight fine hair which is probably the kit that i would have went for if i was going to purchase it myself but obviously i got gifted this and i ain't complaining you know what i'm saying and then there's also a full kit as well which is a bit more expensive but you get all of the attachments so if you guys want to see me try out the dyson air wrap then please keep watching <laughs> Okay guys, so here is the bad boy right here. I literally just slid it out of the box. This box is so bougie. Oh my God, it looks so nice and expensive. Well, the Dyson is expensive, so it should look expensive, bitch. But I love the fact that it comes in a case. So I told you guys that I got gifted the smooth and control set, but I really like volume in my hair. So I went on the Dyson website and I purchased the Dyson volume brush as well. So I paid 30 pounds for this and you can buy the attachments online. The only thing that's a bit annoying and something I didn't think about is now that i have this there is no room to store this attachment in this set so inside we have a heat proof mat which i don't know why you need a mat for this because i don't think the ones get hot and then this is what we have inside so inside of the smooth and control set you have a smoothing brush which is kind of like how you get a straightish kind of blow dried effect you also have a pre-styler which is kind of like their mini blow dryer i actually have the dyson hair dryer myself and it's amazing like for the longest time I thought oh it's just like a regular hair dryer and then I went to a hotel one day and I blow dried my hair and I was like wow that Dyson blow dryer really does blow dry your hair super fast and it leaves your hair so shiny. When I was using the blow dryer in the hotel, it had this horrible burnt hair smelling smell and I was like, oh hell no, I need to go back to the Dyson. Once you go to the bougie life, you can't be going back. You know what I'm saying, guys? And then the main thing that we're gonna be testing out in this video is the hair curlers. So we have a smaller barrel, which is 30 millimeters and then the bigger barrel, which is 40 millimeters. Because I have quite long hair, my hair is like 22 inches naturally. <laughs> I'm gonna go for the bigger barrel i actually just went away with laura mercier on a ski trip which was amazing make sure you check out that vlog i'll link it up here on the screen but dyson actually sponsored that trip and i actually got to talk to the dyson hair representatives and they was telling me that there's a new attachment that's coming out for the dyson air wrap which is better for longer hair so they're going to be bringing out longer barrels so if you guys want me to try that out let me know down below and i'll snap that up really really quickly and then of course we have the air wrap it is long guys it is girthy i feel like i can knock a bitch out with this if anyone comes and breaks into my house i can slap them on the back of the head spike grand with this i do have to say my first impressions of this is actually really really lightweight when i first saw this i thought oh my god the handle looks quite long it'll be quite heavy but it's actually really really lightweight i feel like dyson is like the apple of hair products like whenever dyson brings out a new product you're like <gasps> And they bring out products quite far in between each other. So I feel like it gives enough time for you to build up the hype again. And every single Dyson product that I own is just... I have a Dyson V10 vacuum that I bought. And it's so expensive, but it's so good. We literally just hang it up and it charges. It's amazing. Okay, so at the moment, my hair is in a towel. You have to use this product on damp hair. So even if you just wash your hair or you just use a water spray and just spritz your hair, that's the only way that it will work. It won't work on dry hair. So I personally feel like it wouldn't replace a hair color because if you're in a rush, like ain't nobody got no time to be dampening their hair. But if you are styling your hair from the evening, 
evening before and you just got out of the shower, this would be a really, really good way to curl your hair and blow dry in one cell. That's what we want. I have really long, fine hair. Oh! I got a lot of hair. I also have some tape in hair extensions at the moment from Beauty Works, which is amazing. I'm literally loving them. I literally just have a few on the sides. So I'm just gonna quickly wet the front bits again because it's kind of dried now. So obviously if you haven't had time to towel dry your hair, then you wanna go in with a pre-styler and just get your hair damp. My hair has been sitting in a towel for a while now, girls. So most of the moisture is gone. So I'm going to start by sectioning my hair. By watching videos, I've definitely learned that you have to take smaller sections and I am notorious for taking some big ass chunky sections because I ain't got no patience. Okay, so I'm just going to put this away in a bun because it's out of my face. I'm currently in the process of getting my hairline tattoo removed. If you guys haven't checked out my vlogs yet, please go check it out because I talk all about it on there. Okay, so just to show you, if you guys haven't seen any videos about the air wrap, these are the two barrels. One is going away from your face and one is going towards your face. So you want to decide on what direction you want your hair to flow. The only thing that's a bit annoying, I feel like, about this already is that if you want to alternate your curls, then you're going to have to keep taking off the nozzle. I'm going to be going away from my face, which is this way and then if you look here it has a open and lock you just literally shove this in and then it's locked into place and then when you want to remove it you just hold this down and pull it off so you have the speeds here we have on and off and we also have the temperature control here and then there's also a cool shot so if you hold it up it blast cold air so that's how you set the hair so normally if I had my hair curler I would actually just take this whole massive section but because this is my first time trying it, I'm gonna split this little section into two this is a good section I feel like okay so apparently you should hold about 10 centimeters of your hair out and then I'm gonna turn it on and then I'm just gonna hold it in front of my hair Ooh, oh it wraps so I just let go okay oh it's doing it Oh my god, I feel like I'm in the commercials. See, my hair is quite long for this barrel. It keeps falling out. Stay in, bitch. Okay, and now I'm gonna do the cool shot. I'm blasting cold air on it. And then you always wanna make sure you turn it off before you release the curl. Oh my god, guys, I did it. That was actually so easy. Hello, who this? And I really like the way the curl looks. The only thing that I'm a bit worried about is I don't know if it's gonna hold all day. So it's quite a ringlety type of curl, but I'm sure once you brush it out and stuff, it's gonna be nice and bouncy. Okay, so I'm gonna leave 10 centimeters of hair and then I'm gonna turn it on. You literally feel like you should be twisting or something, but you literally just slide it up to your hair and it just wraps around by itself. I'm gonna turn on the cold air. So let's just push this button upwards and it's blasting cold air now. And then you turn it off, then you release. And there she is. I think with these type of curls, it's meant to be like big bouncy curls, which is something that I actually really struggle with. When it comes to my hair curl, I feel like it just looks too ringlety. I love more like voluminous kind of like bouncy hair. So I feel like I'm gonna really like this product. Okay, I'm gonna try to do a big ass chunk like this because doing all these little sections, I'm like, I ain't got no time for this. Okay, I'm gonna take off this and we're gonna go the other way this time. So I'm getting the other big barrel. There's always one side that's easier to curl than the other. Come on. I'm just being greedy now. Oh my God. Okay, I'm gonna put the cool shot on it. I know this is gonna be a frizzy mess already. No! Okay, now we're gonna release. Okay guys, if you have long hair, do not take big sections because only half of it will curl. Okay, you're gonna have to split the sections. Voila! Okay, taking smaller sections definitely help. I do have to say that my hair doesn't hold a curl really well. So on this side, it's kind of dropping already. So I feel like I need hairspray, but that is like really normal for me because my hair is so long, curls just doesn't hold. So I'm gonna need some help with some hairspray. My favorite hairspray at the moment is the Beauty Works Super Hold. This holds my curl really, really well. I do have to say though, because I'm blow drying my hair, it keeps drying off the other sections because I guess the wind kind of gets to it. I'm gonna try to put a bit of hairspray in before I curl my hair. Maybe it'll hold a bit better. Wow. 
Wow. Do you guys see that? It went. <laughs> I'm doing the cool shot now. Okay. Moment of truth. I feel like the hairspray made it harder for the hair to dry. Just a quick note make sure you turn off the air wrap before you release it, otherwise, you get this. Okay guys, so I've had a bit of time to play now and I feel like I've kind of locked down a little method that I personally like. If I was going to redo this all again, I would do it all in pin curls because I feel like it gives me the most volume. And also, I've given up changing the barrel, guys. I know we're going to have time to be switching back and forth. So I'm literally just doing it all this direction. So I find it really hard to make this wrap around by itself or sometimes it does it to half the hair and it wouldn't accept all of the hair. So I basically do my own wrap first so that it all goes in like that and then I let go and then I go up slowly like this so can you guys see that when I do it like this it gives me volume at the root which is how I like my curls okay now I'm putting the cold air on it okay so instead of dragging the hair out what I do is I hold the hair in a bunch together and then Ideally, I would clip this up so it's like my pin curls and then when it's like a loop like this, I just hairspray it and then it's a bit more like a bouncy kind of way rather than it being really ringlety. Okay guys, we've gotten to the front of my damn head. I feel like I've been doing this for so long my arm's gonna fall off and I just want to show you how I've been doing the front sections because I want it really really big and voluminous so I'm doing it like how I would do a hair roller so I'm sectioning it across like this and then what I do is I basically put it like this on my hair and I kind of wrap it around and turn it on and I kind of pull it up and down as well to give me more height so now it's all dry I'm going to blast it with cold air and then afterwards I literally just hold it together and I pull this out like this so it's still in a loop and then I hairspray it. I think the hairspray is very crucial guys. And then I just let it kind of like fall and I leave it there for as long as it stays there until it basically drops down. This is my little fringe bit so I have to hold it really tight. Okay, time to release hairspray. Okay, so this is what my hair looks like. I love the top bit, it's so nice and big and voluminous. It's definitely not the most perfect curl ever. So now I'm gonna brush out my hair. So volumized, I love it. I feel like I basically put rollers in my hair overnight and this is the effect of it. Oh my God, look at this, va va vroom bitch. I love how it styles the front of my hair. Like I always struggle getting like the sweety sweep in my hair and I feel like this has literally locked it down. If I'm honest, I probably have to go over some bits with an actual hair curler so that I can get more defined waves. But I'm not mad at it, you know? I really like it, guys. I feel like maybe this hairspray is a bit too strong of a hold. I should have used maybe a more lightweight hairspray. Okay, guys, so that's it for my Dyson Air Wrap review. You guys can see it's given me a lot of volume, which is something that I really, really like when it comes to styling my hair. I feel like whenever I go to the hairdressers, I leave with really, really big, bouncy hair. And then when I try to do it at home, it's just so hard. So I feel like this product has given me a lot of lift, even though I haven't even used any styling products in my hair. I haven't used anything while my hair is down. And I feel like if i done like a styling cream, my curls would have held a bit better. I do feel like if your hair is about 18 inches or shorter, you can get really, really nice defined curls. But because my hair is so long and it drops really quickly, I got more of like a waved effect, which I don't really mind actually. Normally, whenever I curl my hair, the sides of my hair will be so flat. So I feel like this gave me a lot of oomph, especially on the roots. The main thing for me, I just want a slight curve to my hair and the fringe bit to be really, really nice and bouncy. Like this swooping motion I would actually really really struggle without using rollers so the fact that I can do it here right now and get the effect straight away it just perfect for me guys. Will the Dyson Air Wrap be replacing my hair curlers? To be honest, I don't think so because I feel like it gives such different effects. The Dyson Air Wrap is more for people that want voluminous hair, that wants that at home blow dried look. Also, I feel like this would be amazing for anyone with really, really damaged hair because I can actually touch the barrel of this when it's on, which I could never do with hair curlers. So you can just imagine the type of heat that you put on your hair. I really want to try the other hair attachments. So let me know if you guys want me to film 
filmed that in a separate video or I can keep you guys updated on my Instagram stories so make sure you follow me over there. Also if you guys want to learn how I get my heatless waves overnight then I'm going to link a vlog that I done here on how I get ready for a big event. But yeah guys that's it for my Dyson Airwrap review. It's a thumbs up from me. I'm really really intrigued to try the longer barrel. I feel like that will probably be more suited to my hair type. So let me know if you guys want me to film an updated video about that and yeah guys let me know what you think about this hair below. Do you like it? Is it a thumbs up? I'm going to put a poll up here. And that's it for this video, guys. I'll see you in my next one. Bye. Hold on. I need to finish my TikTok. One second. <laughs> we'll be right back. Ah! Oh, that didn't work, did it? So I'm holding it in front of my hair. Tensi... Tensinti? What's tensinti? I'm talking like another language to you guys. Okay, so you have to leave tensi... I just done it again. What's tensinti? I need to touch up my fucking face because I've been blowing hot air all over it and I'm a shiny bitch. Ooh, so bouncy. Yes. Let's slow mo this. Oh, yeah. Oh, that's it for this video. Woo, we are done. And I'm actually early. I'm not running late for my next meeting. Yes, today I am winning. This never happens. Normally I'm always rushing. I still have like 30 more minutes. Yes. I'm gonna go and film some more TikToks. Bye!